As it happens, I pay my tax promptly at the proper rate. But much of your taxes and mine are wasted or squandered on harmful purposes. Schools that spread propaganda and ignorance. Police who won't fight crime. Stupid foreign wars. Expensive armies of politically correct jobs worths. So I have nothing against legal tax avoidance, provided it's done by people who think as I do. What I object to is modish liberals endlessly going on about how they're in favor of a high spending state while quietly taking advantage of legal tax dodges. This is more common than you might think. In my view, they should all be made to pay a special 80 pence in the pound tax, a tax on being insufferably left wing. All this fuss about tax avoidance being amoral or immoral is most odd. Where does it say in the Bible that we have to give our hard-earned money to a bunch of incompetent, wasteful MPs? In any country with the rule of law, there will always be legal tax avoidance schemes. And I challenge any of you with hand on heart to say honestly that if you were offered a chance legally to pay much less tax, you wouldn't take it. Jimmy Carr's mistake was to get well paid for whipping up moral outrage against aggressive, blood-hungry, amoral tax lawyers, and then to go out and hire aggressive, amoral, blood-hungry tax lawyers to reduce his own taxes. I'm also puzzled about how the Prime Minister can denounce Jimmy Carr's action as morally wrong. Mr Cameron is rather rich. Yet, for seven long years, he claimed roughly £20,000 a year in parliamentary expenses, one of the highest claims in all Westminster, for the mortgage interest on a rather nice country house. All perfectly legal and within the rules, but paid for out of your taxes and mine. If that isn't immoral, then nor is tax avoidance. In fact, I rather wish I'd managed to avoid helping him pay for his house.